It's an issue that Eastern Maine Medical Center nurses have been facing since the 70s. Are there enough nurses to ensure quality care for all patients? A new report by the Worker Rights Board of Eastern Maine attempts to answer that question. Sometimes we'll have up to 10 patients waiting in an emergency department to be admitted to the floor, have to stay in the ER for 24 to 48 hours and because they can't go to the floor because there are no nurses up there. And that's all floors, not just one floor, it affects all floors. Nurses would talk about going on their lunch break or going uh, on their break and, and personally being worried that the patients they were seeing weren't going to be seen by somebody during that time. And I think it's um, really unfortunate that nurses should have to be worrying about that all the time when they're on their break. The report states, the workload and stress caused by understaffing, shift schedules and job requirements have had a critical negative effect on patient care at EMMC. When the Worker Rights Board began the review, they contacted hospital management to invite them to attend the forum. However, the hospital referred them to its website to look over its data on staffing and how administrators make decisions. We're pretty data-driven in terms of the quantifying of the patient volumes, the acuity, and what is uh, the appropriate um, level of patient care assignments for nurses. In my observations, we provide safe and quality staffing at all times. Our nurses are highly competent, they're very quality-driven, and that's been evident in the awards that we've received. And while Eastern Maine Medical Center officials chose to politely decline their offer to participate in the report, they say they are looking forward to reviewing the materials. In Bangor, I'm Erin Thomas.